All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. It is JFam. Today's video is the first day of Warzone Season 4, um, and I'm going to be making a, a simple guide, very simple. I, I copy a lot of the pro Warzone streamers' uh, settings. These are going to be the best settings for performance, not for uh, visual <laughs> appeal or, you know, uh, making the game look amazing. Um, I can also show you what I use to make the game look a little bit better, uh, make it easy on yourself without having to compromise as far as your PC. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to let you know I have an NVIDIA 1060 um, graphics card, so it's not like the newest one in the world. And I also record at the same time as I'm gaming. So these are going to be like the best settings that I run, and once again, they're going to match a lot of the Pro Wars on player settings. So obviously you want to have your graphics card selected. Your screen refresh rate, you want to know that. Um, I'm not sure what kind of monitor that you guys have, but my screen refresh rate is 165 hertz. So make sure you just find out if you're on a 60 hertz or whatever kind of monitor you're on that it matches. I always have my render resolution at 100 and I play on 1920 by 1080. You could lower this a little bit if you notice that your game runs worse. You could turn it down maybe to 95. But once again, you can see it's going to start compromising as far as the pixelation and the quality. Um, sync every frame. I have this disabled. Aspect ratio is automatic. Sorry, I skipped that. Custom frame rate. So I've heard a lot of good things as far as um, just FPS performance and things like that. If you cap your FPS. Um, so I've capped mine at 110. Once again, I mentioned I'm playing and recording at the same time, so I'm really never going over 90 to 100 frames in game. Uh, so just to limit my CPU trying to just overhaul itself in game, um, I my CPU, my GPU, I have it at 110. Menu frame rate 30 and out of focus frame rate 5. NVIDIA highlights I have disabled. Um, once again, because I'm recording, I've heard that disabling this as well helps just with FPS and in-game performance. Um, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I have it enabled plus boost. This is obviously what uh, I can't talk yet. This is what most people are using. My display gamma is 2.2. Streaming quality. Now, these are, once again, for performance, and I'm pretty much copying every Pro Warzone player settings. Low. Texture resolution, very low. Texture filter, low. Particle quality, low. Bullet impacts and spray, I don't think this really makes a difference. I have it disabled. Tessellation, disabled. On-demand text streaming texture, um, disabled. Obviously, it doesn't matter. I have it disabled. Map resolution, I have on low. If it, your game doesn't look you know, up to quality or how you want it to look, you could turn this up a little bit. You could turn it on normal. I just keep mine on low. I have this disabled. Cache spot shadows. Cache sun shadows disabled. Particle lighting low. Direct x-ray tracing I have a disabled. Ambient occlusion disabled. Screen space reflection disabled. Filmic strength 1. Now if you read this, if anti-aliasing option is not set to SMA T2X or filmic SMA T2X. Set filmic strength to 1. I have anti-aliasing disabled. Most people do not play with this on. Once and this guide is for performance. So if you want your PC to run the best in game for the most FPS, this is what you want to be running. Depth of field disabled. World motion blur. You definitely don't want this disabled. Weapon motion blur disabled. Film grain zero. Dynamic resolution disabled. And dynamic resolution target frame rate sixty. Now, as I mentioned, if you want your game to look a little bit better, I will show you here what I run. Let me find it. Turn your colorblind on. Um, I put it on Trinitopia. It makes the game look a little bit brighter. There is videos out there for NVIDIA settings that you can apply to make the game look better. But I also heard as well that these can affect your in-game performance and your FPS if you have the NVIDIA filters um, on when you're playing the game. So for me, I find that the Trinitopia makes the game look good enough. Um, it doesn't look amazing, but once again, if you're like me and you have an older, kind of a lower-end graphics card, you probably want to get the most FPS and just have the game running without stutters and the feeling the best it can run. So this is the guide. These are the settings. Copy these. Try this um, just to make the game look a little bit brighter, look a little more colorful. So I just want to get this guide out there real quick. 
I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Enjoy your day. Later.